another small job for today is to remove this carbon canister job. Pair of pliers probably would have been. Oh, you can just pull them off. Didn't even need to cut them. Don't know that that's what to do, collect fumes or something like that? Yes. And then we just pop two bolts in the end of the hoses. That's venting. That is. Hopefully from the tank. This piece, this is the carbon canister, this is another two kilos. So that is off. What's inside a Subaru fuel carbon canister thing? A screwdriver. I don't even know what you call that thing, David, but it definitely connects it. Carbon capture or something like that. Carbon capture. Well, it had like four hoses connected to the fuel tank. And Dave is now applying science because he wants to see what's in it. Because he's a man of science. It's going well there, Dave. It's going, it's going, it's going really well. They want to keep it secret, secret. I know what it contains, David. Gold! Emissions. Emissions, yes. Open that up and all the emissions are going to come out. How old's the car? Uh, 12 years. It's got 12 years of emissions inside it. Oh, fuck. The Super is a really economically, environmentally responsible car though. There's not going to be that many emissions inside it. It's not like it's a dirty, filthy diesel. We've totally taken Scott's word for it here. He said take it off. I have no idea what this thing does. But he said take it off, and so here we are. It's got springs inside it. Springs? Oh, you did say it was boing. The springs set off a trap that immediately alerts Subaru headquarters. It's got a big, it's got a big spring inside it. It's happening. The FBI has been notified. You are modifying your vehicle. I'd, I'd say this is going well. I notice you're using the hammer with the steel shaft all the way through. You're a man of culture. Rage building. Rage building. Anger. Fear. Broken. I'm looking, but I do not see, David, a big fucking lever. That's what you need. Where are your big levers? In the big lever bro. It's really This one corner really stuff. On today's episode, Luminous Orange. <laughs> on today's episode, Luminous Orange Man opens a box. Wow! It's a filter. A filter, is that it? That's it. That's not very exciting. That's not David. Exciting. Wait, well, maybe all the missions are under the filter. Yeah, the emissions could be underneath that. Right. Still looks like a filter. Ah, it's full of carbon! Quick, don't breathe this! It's literally a carbon capture, it is. What do you mean, don't breathe this? We're made of carbon. It's, it's full of carbon. What does it do? The petrol vapour sits in the carbon and gets turned back into petrol and then gets sucked back in the tank. Obviously through the filter so you don't so hoover in the carbon. Wow. Science! But why would you need a carbon filter for your fuel vapour? Because that way your fuel vapour would go into the big sky and make holes. And kill all the penguins, panda bears. But that's not going to work because we've put bolts on the hoses. Why didn't they just do that? Who knows? Now the polar bears will die. Good grief. Right, that, that'd be great in the... Uh, if I could give that to Jesse, she'd just thinking that. Yeah, we'll just get a, get a bag and we'll just bag it up. Yeah, tremendous. We have removed the carbon thingy. So much carbon. And now the polar bears are going to die. Oh, it smells like fuel. That's good for storing uh, compact discs now. <laughs> there you go, that saved us a couple of kilos.